Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. This is part two of creating a space emblem. In part one, we covered how to make the design for the background plates, and now I'll show you how to add the spaceship, stars, and text. Beginning where we left off, we'll collapse the effects of the circle and make a new layer above it. Open your custom shape tool and keep the triangle shape that you used in part one. Click on the stroke box and choose no stroke. Click on the fill box and pick white. Click on the gear icon and choose unconstrained and from center. Click on the guideline and drag out a triangle. To reposition it, press and hold this space bar to move it. Click the FX button and choose Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel, the technique Chisel Hard, the depth is 100%, the direction is up, slide the size all the way to the right and click OK. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Click on the original to make it active and press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Go to the top middle and when you see a straight double arrow drag it down. Go to a bottom corner and press and hold Ctrl Shift Alt on a PC or Command Shift Option on a Mac as you drag it out. If you want to bring it further down go back to the top and drag it down more. To slide down the entire shape press the down arrow on your keyboard. Then press enter or return. To hide the path and the guidelines press Control or command H. Let's group the two shapes that comprise our starship into a folder. Shift click on the top shape to highlight both layers. Then press Control or command G. We'll name it starship or spaceship. We're ready to add the star designs. Make a new layer and open the Polygon tool. Type in 4 for the sides and click on the gear icon. Make the radius 100 pixels, check star and indent the sides by 80%. Press and hold shift as you rotate the star to 90 degrees. Make a copy of it and open your transform tool. Go to a corner and when you see a curved double arrow press and hold shift as you rotate it around 45 degrees. Then press enter or return. Open your transform tool again, go to a corner and when you see a straight double arrow press and hold shift and alt or shift and option as you drag it in. Then press enter or return. Shift click on the bottom polygon and press Ctrl or Command E to merge them. Make a copy of it and drag the copy to another location. Make a copy of this star, drag it to another location and open your transform tool to reduce its size. Then press enter or return. Make a copy of this star and relocate it. Let's group the stars into a folder. Repeat the same steps as you did before. We'll name it Stars. Next, we'll add the thrust under the spaceship. Make a new layer and open your custom shape tool. Using the same triangle shape, drag out a large narrow triangle. It doesn't matter what color it is since we'll be adding a gradient. Go to Layer, Rasterize, and Shape. Open your Transform tool and click on the Warp Transform button. Open your Custom Warp menu and choose Arc. Type in 50% for the vertical, 0 for the horizontal, and 50% for the bend. Then click the check mark to accept it. 
drag it up to where the tones of the spaceship converge. To widen or squeeze in the shape, open your transform tool, go to the side, press and hold Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag it in or out. To raise up just the bottom, go to the middle and drag it up. When you're happy with its size and shape, press Enter or Return. Let's fill it with a gradient. Control click or command click on the shape to make a selection of it. Open your gradient tool, make sure the linear gradient is highlighted, and click on the black to white thumbnail. Click on the gradient box to open the gradient editor. Click on the lower left stop, the color box, and click on the red color of the frame to pick up its color. Click OK and click below the gradient bar to add a stop. Click on the color box and pick an orange color FF9409. Click OK and type in 80% for its location. Then click OK. Go to the bottom of the selection and press and hold Shift as you drag up the line to a little below the top. Then delete the selection. To make the top of the shape go behind the spaceship, drag the shape layer below the spaceship. Double click on the shape to open its layer styles. Click on Outer Glow, the color box, and click on the red frame to pick up its color. Click OK and change the blend mode to Divide. Make the opacity 100% and the size between 55 to 60 pixels. Click on Contour and choose Cove Deep. Then click OK. Make a new layer and open your custom shape tool. Click on the fill box and pick white. Make sure there's no stroke. Drag out a large narrow triangle and open your transform tool. Click on the warp transform button and choose arc. Make the bend 0, the horizontal 0, and the vertical minus 100. This is the shape we want, but if it's clipped off or looks wrong, type in a slightly lower number in the vertical field. Then click the check mark icon. Press V to open your move tool and move it up so the bottom point is flush with the bottom of the other shape. Let's place the thrust layers into a folder. We'll name it Thrust. We're ready to add text on the frame. Make your circle layer active. We'll put the text layers above it. Open your type tool and choose a font. I'm using Space Age. If you'd like to use this font, I provided the link in the video's description or project files. If you're not sure how to install fonts, watch my tutorial on how to do this. I provided that link as well. For this font, I'll choose a point size of 40, smooth, and left alignment. Click on the color box and pick white. Type out your text that you want to place on the bottom of the frame. Open your move tool and drag it to the center. Click on the FX button and choose bevel and emboss. The style is inner bevel, the technique is chisel hard, the direction is down, and the size is 5 pixels. Make a copy of the text and open your transform tool. Drag it up and to the left and rotate it counterclockwise to an angle that matches the frame then press enter or return. Open your type tool, highlight all the text, and type out your second line. Open your move tool and center it. Open your transform tool again and rotate it clockwise. Drag it to the right and finesse the angle to match the frame. Then press enter or return. Open your type tool again, highlight the text, and type in your third line.
open your move tool to position it. To make the right text be flush with the left text, press Ctrl or Command H to make the guidelines visible. Drag down a guideline so it's flush with the top of the character on the left line. Then drag down another guideline so it's flush with the bottom of the first character. Now position the right line to the top guideline. Open your type tool, place your cursor between the words, and press and hold Alt or Option as you press the right arrow key on your keyboard to move the second word down until it's flush with the bottom guideline. Then hide the guidelines. To ensure the shapes are centered, click on the layers you want to check, press Ctrl or Command A, and then open your Move tool and click on the Align Horizontal Centers icon. Once I click on the icon, notice some of the shapes will move slightly to the left. To center the bottom line of text, I'll make the layer active, press Ctrl or Command A, and click on the Align Horizontal Centers icon. Have fun creating your own custom space emblem commemorating a starship, its crew, and its location in deep space. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.